Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac. Today I'll be taking you through calculations in economics under average product, uh, total product and marginal product. But it would be a crime for me to go straight into this without first pointing out the meaning of theory of production and production function. Now, uh, theory of production It's what helps firms determine how much of which resources they need to produce or to get a particular product. So that's what makes them plan. Okay, what, how much labor do I need? How much capital do I need to execute this project? So that's what a uh, theory of production talks about. And production function, the firms realize that there is actually a particular input that will give you a particular output. Production function relates output to input. So this is what it relates. Like Q is equals a function of let's say S1, comma S2. This implies that output is a function of input. So as output increases, input should also increase. And as input decreases, output should decrease. And now, what is the input? The input in production are the factors. So most time they are uh, labor or capital. This implies that the output in the production is a function of labor and output is also a function of capital. So that's a uh, uh, production function. Now AP, uh, TP and MP. Total product TP is simply the total product or the total output gotten after employing all factors of production. So you've used all your resources to produce. So this is the output, that's the total product. Why an average uh, product, AP, is output per worker, uh, total product over labor or over capital. So it's the output that each worker gives. Why a uh, marginal product is explain something like this. Okay, if 10 workers can actually give this output, what will be the result of adding another worker? You get that ideology. So it try to give the effect of adding or changing uh, a worker or changing the input. What will happen? Okay, let's remove one or let's add one. So let's manipulate the input to know the additional output that it can get. So that's what uh, a marginal product talks about. That's MP, uh, marginal. So MP, so it's equals uh, changing A, P over changing L. So you have to vary all these uh, factors of production to see what the result will be. So that's introduction to a theory of production. Now, we have these formulas. So let's solve questions under theory of production, common economics questions.